DIVAT operation. Check with your local OSHA representative to confirm safe practice for your location. Hey everyone, we're going to talk about how to use these dive vats safely. The first thing that you should notice is I have this yellow neoprene apron on. The other thing you need, they're called thermoprene gloves and they have fabric liners inside so that you can safely reach down into a boiling dye vat to scoop out whatever you've got in there and not burn yourself. So these are long enough that I can reach all the way to the bottom of this biggest vat. And then the last thing that you need before you start working with the vat is a face shield. I'm going to take it off so it doesn't obstruct my voice. But this keeps the boiling dye bath from splashing up in your face. There's also splash proof goggles in the PPE cabinet. If you would prefer to have something more smaller profile, I prefer the shield, even though it can steam up and you need to wipe it down. So when you work with the vat, close the drain. Tighten this knob to close the drain. I'm screwing down the drainage knob and I've gotten it pretty tight, but I haven't really heaved it because we don't want to strip those threads in there. You just need it to be tight enough. You'll feel it engage. And then each one of these vats has a spigot attached to it that you'll turn on in order to fill the vat. It's loud. Pretend that I've just filled this vat. The next thing you do, after the water is in the vat, then you use this knob. Meaning this knob, or this one. To engage the heating element. This is a steam jacketed vat, which is why the walls of it are really thick. It's about three inches thick. That's because there's an empty space in there where steam builds up so that What's in there, bath, is uniformly heated from all surrounding sides except for the top of the bath. Once you turn it on, presuming you need it to get really hot, then you close the lid. If you leave the lid open, it will still eventually simmer and boil, but it will take much, much longer. Think of it like when you put a pot on the stove to make pasta. You put a lid on it so it'll boil faster. Same thing here. Every time you work with these vats, you need to do a safety check. First check the pressure. This gauge on the side of the vat, the pressure indicator should be within the safe range. Zero pressure is best. Then check the water level for the steam. This water level should be between maximum and minimum. If the water level is outside that range, report it to your facility supervisor for repair. This video does not cover the dyeing process itself, which will vary depending upon the fiber content of the item to be dyed and the class of dye you are using to dye it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for notification of new content, and join me every Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern for live studio stream.